I have a hard time figuring out how to get through the distrust and the apathy to action. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, that, that is a uh, perennial challenge. It's always there. It's always there. One, you ha we always have to keep in mind that uh, not only people wake up at different times in different ways, but everybody never, ever wakes up. Ever. Let me see. Every, every fundamental historical moment of transformation, be it American, French revolutions, Haitian revolutions, velvet revolutions in Eastern Europe, it's never the vast majority. It's a highly qualitative slice of a minority who are on fire that begin to call into question a lukewarmness of the mainstream, and the mainstream begins to tilt in an opposite direction. You see? And that's one of the things we talk about in the text in terms of the 1960s. The 1960s was not, it was not a mass movement. The, 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 the most black people were not behind Martin Luther King Jr. His own church booted him out of his denomination, J.H. Jackson, the National Baptist. They had to form the Progressive Baptist. That's in the black church, let alone the black community. When Martin died, 55% of black people disapproved of him because he was critical of the American Empire in Vietnam and trying to bring poor people together across the board. Carl Rowan and others wrote pieces. He's an he's a extension of communism and so forth and so on. You think, of, God, if they don't love Martin, then what do they think about us? <laughs> but look at his impact, because he had that high quality group of crit that critical minority, put it that, prophetic minority. And the struggle here of living wage. I mean, Seattle and my dear sister, uh, Sawant and uh, Kashama and others, you, you all have been a magnificent inspiration. We pushed increasing the minimum wage in New York, partly because of Seattle. You see? Cuomo and the others were very reluctant until they saw what was going on in Seattle. So it has repercussions even far beyond even given the, the magnificent work you're doing, but feeling frustrated. So that the frustration is part of the fire, of course, you know, it's, it, it, you, you're never able to really do what you want, just like the brother in the class. You want to touch every student. You can't touch every student, even though you want to, but the ones that you do touch, you make a difference. You make a difference. And without you, without you, 